I'm Matthew Drutt and this is Ion Art. Today we're coming to you from the Armory Show on Piers 92 and 94 in Manhattan. It's the centenary of the original Armory Show of 1913. With several hundred galleries from Europe, Asia, and the United States, it can be a little daunting to find your way around. So why don't you come with me today and we'll look at some of the hidden gems. Roy McMakin is a Seattle-based artist who for years now has been kind of confusing the line between architecture and design and art. Uh, he has generated a body of work based on functional objects and inhabitable spaces. For his installation here at Anthony Meyer Fine Art, you see a series of chests of drawers, which comes from Roy's fascination with a particular type of drawer set that he found once in a store. Roy's investigation of these drawers uh, is as much playful as it is sober, uh, as romantic as it is kind of intellectual. Roy has hung the drawers on their side on the wall uh, so that they're completely unusable uh, and makes you look at them formally in a way that you're not used to uh, and it's also kind of funny. And this idea of the functional object as an art object is a kind of homage in some way to Marcel Duchamp who's being celebrated at the fair on this anniversary, the 100th anniversary of the Armory Show since Duchamp was the enfant terrible of the show. When the original Armory show opened in 1913, by far the most scandalous talked about work in the exhibition was Marcel Duchamp's Nude Descending a Staircase. It was lampooned as everything from rude descending a staircase to an explosion in a shingle factory. Reporters warned visitors not to drink before they went to the exhibition because if they saw the picture drunk, it might cause them to throw up. Francis Nauman Fine Arts has taken a really great step towards paying homage to Duchamp in that painting. His booth is installed with a variety of contemporary works made in response to Duchamp's nude. Everything from Sherry Levine's series of multiples, uh, which are copies of the nude descending a staircase, to Bill Copley's painting, Dude Descending a Staircase. It's a really great installation. We're looking at work by Julianne Swartz, who's a New York State-based artist, uh, and her work is on view at uh, Jose Bienvenu Gallery from New York. Uh, Swartz's work is occasionally talked about as interactive. Her works invite viewers kind of into the space of the work. Uh, you have to get close to listen to it if it's a sound piece. She often works with light, uh, something you step into. The piece behind me uh, is this kind of uh, a confusion of wires that uh, connect to uh, speakers and emit a kind of uh, litany of strange audio. It's very poetic. Uh, sometimes a little disturbing, uh, and it's a kind of open-ended timelessness to it. There's also a work in the stand, uh, which is paper stretched over rock. It's almost impossible to figure out uh, how the work is made. It looks like a relief, it looks like a painting, uh, and it could be a drawing because it's made on paper. This is work by Leon Ferrari, uh, who is one of Argentina's most celebrated artists. Born in 1920, he's now 93 years old. Uh, the work is on view at Sicardi Gallery from Houston. Uh, Ferrari uh, is from the generation of revolution and protest in Argentina uh, in the 70s and 80s. He was actually exiled for his political activities. Very lyrical drawings. They are uh, in some times very descriptive of specific political events, uh, at other times more poetic and buoyant and aesthetic. Uh, Ferrari also works in sculpture, uh, working with uh, these very kind of sinuous metal forms. There's a piece on view in the stand here, uh, which is quite small, it sits on a pedestal, uh, but really is exemplary of this kind of modernist ethos that Ferrari pioneered in Argentina. Thank you. 